Okay, we're going to solve these guys by completing the square. Now there's two tricks to completing the square, right? The first thing is to isolate... Uh, we'll do uh, uh, 4a now, of course. So the first thing is to isolate the x squared and the x term on one side. Okay, so that's trick number one. Step one. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. That'll give us x squared minus 10x equals negative 3, right? So we isolate the x squared, the, we bring the, the constant over here, the number over here, right? Trick number 2 is this. You take this guy, the negative 10, right? You divide him by 2 and then you square him, right? So we're going to take the negative 10, we're going to divide it by 2, and then that gives us negative 5, okay? Then we're going to square that. What's negative 5 squared? It is positive 25. Then we take this number and we add it to both sides, okay? So this is how you complete the square. If you add this to both sides, the rest is easy, because you know how to do the rest. But that's the trick. Get the constant on the right, take the b, the b uh, number, right? Divide it by 2, and then square it. So we divide that by 2, we got negative 5, I square that, and I get 25, right? Now if you look carefully what you have here, you have a perfect square trinomial x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to, now what's negative 3 plus 25? That's 22, right? So now this is now set up to be factored and solved by taking the square root, right? What I want you to do is factorize this thing here. If you were to factorize that, what would you get? Factorize that trinomial. Forget about the 22, just factorize this. So if you were to factorize that, right, you take your 25 and that's 5 times 5, right? Now what two numbers multiply to 25 and add to negative 10? Negative 5 and negative 5, right? If you multiply them, you get 25. If you add them, you get negative 10, right? So this can be factored to be x minus 5 times x minus 5. Have you seen minus 5 appear before? Look, there it is. See it? Right. That's your b over 2, right? Anyway, but it's good to go through the steps just to make sure. So, and how else can we write this? Can we write this thing with less ink? See, it's x minus 5 times x minus 5. Now, isn't that x minus 5 all squared? You've seen that before, right? Is equal to 22. Okay. Now, we can solve this by taking the square root of both sides. Okay. So there's a few steps to it. Once again, we... Uh, okay, now taking the square root of both sides, what you need to remember is you got to plug in plus or minus. And why is that? Let me explain why you have to plug in plus or minus. Okay, here's why. If you had... If you had x squared equals 9, what's the answer? Tell me what x is. What's the answer? If x squared is 9, what's x? Is x3? It is. x3 is correct. But you're only, you've only got half of the answer. Okay? Because there's another answer. 3 or what else? What else squared gives 9? Do you know? Negative 3. So if I, if I was to solve this by taking square roots, I need to do this. Root this side, root this side, and the root gets rid of the square but I need to put in plus or minus because the answer is in fact x equals plus or minus and root 9 is 3. Okay, it's plus or minus 3. Plus 3 or minus 3, right? And that's that's the problem, that's the, what you need to do when you take the square root of both sides. You gotta plug in plus or minus. So we're plugging in plus or minus. Now the square root of this thing squared, that's an inverse operation. So I'm, I'm square rooting a squared thing, right? So that leaves me with just the x minus 5, right? Equals plus or minus root 22, okay? 
And um, at this point, the, the smartest thing to do is to write this. X minus 5, and, and deal with the plus or minus now, otherwise you'll probably make a mistake. Most students make a mistake with this. So I'm advising you to do, it's plus root 22 or x minus 5 equals negative root 22. So that's my advice. Because most students at this point, like they did all the hard work, they got everything right, and they come along, they make a mistake here, and they, they lose a whole bunch of points on the test. So you don't want that, right? So if you just split your plus or minus up now, and then add 5 to both sides, okay? And now you can get x is root 22 plus 5 or 5 plus root 22 and then of course you can just calculate that if you need to as a decimal and then same same on this one add 5 to both sides right so we get x is that or x is negative 22 plus 5 or 5 minus or uh, sorry uh, root 22 right uh, of course we could have cal we could also calculate these as decimals if you want right